In this video, we will see how easy it is to import a GitHub project in Eclipse and then work on the project and push changes to the remote GitHub repository. So here is a demo project I have in my Git repository, which is a Spring Boot project. Let's first copy the repo URL by clicking on the clone slash download and copying the URL. Now here I have Spring Tool Suite running on my machine which is an Eclipse based distribution. To import our GitHub project, let's click on File and then Import. Let's expand Git and choose Projects from Git Smart Import. The Smart Import tries to detect the kind of project and configures it the best it can. Let us select Clone URI, click Next. Let's paste our URI here. It fills in the host and repository path. I have my authentication info stored in secure store. If you don't have that, it will ask you for your GitHub credentials. Click Next. Now we have only one branch here to import. Click Next. It shows the directory on my computer where it is going to install the local repository. The remote is named as Origin. Let's click Next. It recognizes the project. Click Finish. And it imports the project along with creating a local repository and links the two for tracking. Let us see the local repository. So go to Windows, Show View, Other, Git and choose Git Repositories and we can see the Git repository info here for the local and remote. Similarly, let us go to Windows, Show View, Other, Git and choose Git staging to see the staging view. Let's make a modification to a file. So let's add a comment here. Save it. It automatically detects the change and brings it to the unstaged section. Let's move it to the staged area. Add a message, added comment. Let's commit to the local repository as well as push it to a remote repository in GitHub. It reports that the operation was completed successfully. Now Let's go to GitHub, refresh it, and indeed it got our change. We can see our comment here. In this video, we saw how to import an existing GitHub project in Eclipse, and then how to work and push changes to the GitHub remote repository. Thanks for watching.